I, I thought it was your film. Yeah, but you're like, are you not starting it? Okay, hello viewers. And welcome back to Food Tribe. <laughs> <laughs> hello viewers. And welcome back to Food Tribe. Today we're going to be making sandwiches, but it's going to be a little bit different because James isn't making them, Rachel and I are going to make them. And the reason for that is that we both think our favourite sandwich is the best sandwich. I think my favourite sandwich James would prefer. Rachel thinks hers is best. So we thought we'd make them both today in the bunker and let James decide which one is his favourite. I like it. Is it a race? I mean, I don't think so. Quality over speed. Okay, so I'll just go and sit outside and await my lunch. I mean, feel free to stand around and watch and oh, give commentary. Or watch from over there. It not being a large kitchen. Three, two, one. Or indeed a kitchen. <laughs> go. I am going to be making once James is shot. Sorry. I'm going to be making a fish and chip sandwich and I'm going to be using fish fingers and I'm going to be using chips from the chippy. So first off, I need some chips. Ben, can you go get some chips from the chippy, oh, please? Oh, That's not really cooking, is it? Sending somebody out to buy some chips. I'm cooking the fish fingers. Right. <laughs> from, from scratch? From the box. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I feel I've had to lower my hopes, dreams and expectations being back in the bug out bunker kitchen but I do still think that I'm going to be able to make a good grilled cheese, triple cheese and obviously finished off with a bit of Branston because I thought that might give me the edge. My worst nightmare. Fish fingers I know that James likes Yeah. and he likes cheese yeah. so it might be quite tight. Mm. I'm having fish fingers for my fish and this is probably what I always eat when I'm hungover because it's so many carbs, just battered fish stuff in a sandwich with chips, it's just heaven. So have you ever hung over? Um, I don't know to... Could you make any more noise? Probably. You don't like mayo either, do you? I kind of like mayo. I have a weird relationship with mayo. I'm doing mayo on the outside, because then you get a nice extra crispiness. I bought the wrong fish fingers. Oh no. They're like not flat, they're too tall. Am I allowed to interrupt? Government regulations say five fingers in a standard council bread sandwich. <laughs> Four vertically, one across the top, thank you. But those aren't the right fingers for it. They're Can too I kind thin. Of examine these? Yeah, yeah they're I'm too... interested in the idea that there are wrong fish fingers. They should be flatter <laughs> and slightly wider. They're currently square. What I feel like they what? should be rectangular. What abomination have you bought. I bought the cheapest ones because that's usually the best ones. Crispy batter fish fingers. Doesn't say misshapen fish fingers does it? But you're right they are slightly odd different sort of batter. Anyway. Yep I'm sure they'll do. I'm sure they will. I don't think I've ever used this before either. <laughs> that's a gigantic piece of cheese to put in the moolie. It's supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? No. <laughs> it's supposed to just sit in the little. I've literally never used receiver. one of these graters before. I just use like a normal. <laughs> <laughs> What's Ben's number? I'm going to ask him to pick up fish oh and chip gosh. sauces at the chip shop. See, I haven't been very ambitious. I'm just making what I know. It's probably the only sandwich I make fairly regularly. So I'm oh making this God. for you rather than me. How much butter do you like? Quite a lot. Oh, no, not too much. Um, only one side, obviously. Yes, obviously. You haven't said the Lurpak butter line. Lurpak spreadable butter invented in sometime in the early 1900s. Very good. Um, that's probably enough. Okay. It's gonna, is it going to have Tommy ketchup in it as well? Yes. And black pepper? Yes. No tartar sauce. No, I don't want tartar sauce. That's too posh. Good. We agree. <laughs> I feel like this isn't a great invention. Ho 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 ho! It's the greatest invention ever. Yeah. There's a certain amount of user error. I yeah. mean, it's not absolutely foolproof. Oh, I forgot to tell Ben to salt and vinegar the chips. Surely he's going to know that. He might not. Hello. Hello. Can you get salt and vinegar on the chips, please? Yes, I can. The chip shop is closed, so I'm improvising. Cheers, I like the initiative. Oh, See you in a sec. Cheers, mate. The chip is shut. Oh. So Why? he's gone. Oh, it's Monday, oh, isn't it? Should I make my backup chips? Well, yes. uh, probably. What, is there, a, there is another chippy further up the road. He's gone further up to Hammersmith. But he could have gone to the cafe if he just wanted chips. He doesn't really know the area. He'll work it out. I'll make backup and then I'll have that as a snack. 
Okay, as long as they're not wasted. They won't be. Could the magic arm give me the backup chips from the fridge, please? Thank you, magic arm. So I went for curly fries, because curly fries have a little bit of seasoning on them. I don't know what it is, but it tastes amazing. Da -da -da, 20 minutes, uh-oh. I didn't realize how long things took to cook. If you don't mind me, I don't want to interfere, but where are you going to put the fish fingers whilst the chips are cooking? I'm going to put them on the same, same tray. Will that slow down the fish finger chip cooking? No, no, but after 20 minutes of doing the chips, the fish fingers are going to be like anthracite. Oh. And I think the chips probably need a higher temperature than the fish fingers, don't they? Okay, I won't make the chips. I'll wait for my chips. You've made it somehow look like gastronomy. I'm worried about mine now. Oh my. One grilled cheese here, James. Why don't I leave? and I'll let you guys enjoy right. your cheesy moment. <laughs> would you like to come and try your grilled cheese, James? Yes, I would. What are the three cheeses? We've got mozzarella, because it's a good melty one, uh, cheddar, good mature cheds, and uh, some double gosta. Excellent, and this is gonna destroy my mouth. Is it absolutely red hot? Or? No, no, it should be okay <clears throat> by now. My first observation is that that looks a little bit like the polystyrene roof tile of a 1970s pub. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's beige food, which is very promising. Oh yeah, it's got quite a good, slightly springy texture. Mm -hmm. I'll put a bit of Branston juice on it. Here we go. Well, there was a good little cheese pull then. It's not bad that racial. Okay, more right. successful than the <coughs> whole beans situation. Much better than the beans, yeah. Okay. My own criticism would be, am I allowed to have criticism? Of course I've, you are. I've got to tread so carefully in this sort of thing. Those cheeses aren't particularly cheesy. Okay, so you'd need, you want something a bit stronger I in think that. you need an itchier cheddar than that. Okay. But the idea is surprisingly nice. So double bite is a, is a good sign. Mmm, mmm, thank Thumbs you. Up. That's okay. Did you call this a toasty? Mm, kind of, well, it's, it's like a, fry, a grilled, yeah, it? grilled cheese, but not, but yeah. Well, I think toasting the bread with something on it to make it go interesting and brown is not bad. Lucy Brown, lots to live up to. I'm worried. Do you know what, Lucy should have some, really, yeah. to know what she's Yes, up Lucy Brown should oh, no, cheese, definitely have some. Oh, it's cheese. Yeah. I'll have some if you give me 50 pounds. <laughs> Are we going back to this? <laughs> okay, if you eat all of that, no. I'll give you 50 pounds. One bite, no, 20 pounds. No, that's that's unfair. And I, I can't say this because people will say in the comments, oh, James is just bullying Lucy because she's young and he's an old <laughs> or whatever. So no, I don't expect you to eat that cheese sandwich. I'm just going to give you 10 pounds because I like you. Thank you. I think I need to rescue my fish fingers. I think my chips have arrived. Oh my God. Thank you. Awesome. Quality over speed, remember? Oh, look at that Oh my steam. god, they look really good. Mm, look at those. Proper chippy chips. You can't beat chippy chips, in my opinion. Look at that. That looks satisfying, you've got to admit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're hungover, you'd be like... Has this ended up just being a hungover sandwich battle? I feel like I'm a mission star chef. <laughs> I present you that. with my sandwich. So, a few good signs here. Um, I've never had one with chips in, that's an interesting idea. Uh, finger indentations in the bread, which means somebody has, has done me the courtesy of pressing it down and that the bread is a bit crap because it, the indentations have remained. But that's good because you want that sort of bread in a fish finger sandwich. Claggy, if it doesn't stick to the roof of your mouth a bit, it's not quite right. Here we go. Fish fingers, chip shop chips, tomato ketchup, tomato ketchup, tomato ketchup and some more tomato ketchup just in case that wasn't enough tomato ketchup. Oh, I like, I like the addition on the side. Why is this so stressful? I know, isn't it? I was such a tense moment. <laughs> it's just fantastic. It's unbelievable. I'm so happy. So happy. Get in. Oh, I'm sorry, Rachel. I do like your cheese. 
I mean, it's, it's understandable. Toasty. It's understandable. God, that is. It just looks excellent. Do you want to try it? Yes, I do. Taste of 1978. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a fake tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. With banging. My only criticism would be Lucy Brown. I always do the fish fingers in the frying pan. It makes smoke and it makes a smell and it's a bit terrible, but it does mean that the breadcrumbs, or the batter in this case, goes a little bit yeah. brown and then you get that extra, a tiny bit of extra flavour. But It is very much like one texture. Yeah. Well, I usually... But it's fan... Can I say fan fantastic on the food truck? It is... I usually microwave. Don't look so fingers. pleased with yourself. This I'm is the first time you've ever, you've never smiled on food tribe before. And you're doing it now. I'm trying not to. Um, I usually microwave the fish fingers and then fry them to get that crispiness because <laughs> it's so you much quicker. The fish you fingers. microwave them for so sort of thirty seconds and they go all mushy and horrible. But then you fry them and they get all crispy and it saves you the time. But obviously you're anti microwave, so I couldn't do that today. It's the smell texture and level of aspiration of 1978. If you had to put one thing in the, I was going to say the Pompidou Centre, but that's ridiculous, in the <laughs> Millennium Dome to say this is what 1978 was about, it's that. There it is. Your concluding remarks, please. End on a high note. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to say like, comment, subscribe. I've got, I'll go further. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, tell us why in the comments down below. Remember to like to... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.